I write to you, poets and martyrs, disciples and daughters, elders and brothers, Christians and lovers, pastors and teachers, prophets and preachers, I write to you, leaders, that you might gather the weapons from your armories, grab your pulpits and mics, your stages and lights, your buildings and pews, your resources be used for the wife has been bruised, her body beaten and bludgeoned. She's cheated on the man she once pursued, for the bride has now forgotten her husband. I write to you, for you have been summoned, that you might sacrifice your church services and your functions, your evening worship and your luncheons. Bring your members by the dozens, no matter your shortcomings or dysfunctions. You have been summoned to bear this insistence that God wants to use every part of your existence. And none of you are any different. If your church is slowing or resurgent, older or but an infant, you are part of the resistance to stand your ground against the armies of apathy rising against us. I write to you, for I see Christians, but I don't see Christ. I see people living, but not surrendering life. I see large buildings that cannot see strife. I see free salvation that is way underpriced. I see a body called to poverty by wealth be enticed. And I know you see it too. Our allegiance has been spliced. We're unsatisfied with the riches of this world when God's kingdom should have sufficed. So I write to you who are soon to be revolutionaries to encourage you in the cause you will be influencing. I write to you to tell you that you have all that you need. And that's not another book, conference, facility, or degree. For Christ conquered death with only a tree. And if you have more than that, how much more will he want to see? You see, you have all that you need. For you have breath, feet, blood, tears, pulse, hands, eyes, ears. You have brothers and sisters, resources and givers. A world full of sin and a God that is bigger. You have all that you need and you're going to need all that you have. For the life influenced by Christ cannot be given in halves. It will not spare a drop. It will not scare or stop, but will sell all it's got for that treasure in the empty lot. You will need all that you have, for you have all that you need. And all you need is all he has, for all he has is all you need. With great urgency, I write this muse, for the one thing we do not have is an excuse. What we do not have is an excuse. We have the Holy Spirit inhabited for God's own use. What we do not have is an excuse. We have a sure resurrection, the power of death diffused. What we do not have is an excuse. We have the words of life, the greatest of news. What we do not have is an excuse. That is why I write to you this insisting issuance that you might lead with great prudence. To a world full of darkness, may we be a holy nuisance as we lead the cause of Christ through the power of His.